this is probably going to be the hardest review I've ever done because every time I look at the poster, I want to fall asleep. Before I talk negatively about this film as a whole, the actors and actresses in this film, with what they're given, they do a great job. And I'm sure the director, given the right script, with the proper studio, would do very well with this film. Basically, the plot, surmised as short as possible, is that there is this woman in the workplace that wants to be liked, that wants everyone to like her, and that is a basic human instinct, to want your co-workers to like you, to want your friends to like you, to be liked. So I applaud this movie for trying that, but the way it goes about it is boring, convoluted, and it doesn't make any sense. One day, she ends up getting a drink from this character called Sister. It's not the character's sister. The character is literally named Sister. And she drinks it and automatically can see what the opposite gender is thinking. This sounds interesting, but it isn't. You never really realize if the movie wants to be a comedy, if it wants to be a drama, and none of the characters really are likable. It just becomes corny, it becomes over-sensitive in every detail. It's like the movie wanted to be more of a raunchy comedy, but it wasn't mature enough to commit to what it wanted to be. It seems like there was a script that was written and what the actors wanted to do for maybe an improvised comedy, but then a studio came in, wanted to make it more raunchy, wanted to make it more dramatized for a wider audience, and it just really fell short of what it could have been. What Men Want is a movie that is better than this. And really, the only good points of this film is that the lead actress, Taraji P. Henson, I don't claim to be an expert at pronouncing names, but she does well as a female lead. And given the proper material in another film, I would love to see her do something else. This is a wonderful performance. I can see that she would do great in another film, but here she just doesn't have a good set of material to deal with or good things to play off of for emotion off of other characters. As a whole, this movie falls short. I gave Replicas, the Keanu Reeves film, a really hard time earlier this year, and I would rather see that again than this. I would give it a two and a half out of ten. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to check out the other reviews that I do have up on my channel. More will be coming soon. Thank you so much again for watching. Remember, you matter, and I will see you in my next video. As always, take care.